Welcome back. Elizabeth Schur was the judge who oversaw the trial of the Parkland killer. It was a long and contentious affair, and her treatment of the defense attorneys during the case was widely criticized in legal circles. Her conduct in the case led the Florida Supreme Court to issue a public reprimand of Scheer last year, which found Scheer, quote, allowed her emotions to overcome her judgment, end quote. Scheer stepped down from the bench in June and has maintained her silence about the case until now, as she sat down for the first time with CBS News Miami anchor Betty Nguyen, who joins me now. Betty, congratulations. This is an interview that many, many people have wanted for a long time, and I want to talk to you about it, but I want to play, start with, a clip from your interview. Okay. So let's go ahead and play that now and then we'll talk on the other side. So let's get to some of the the moments in the trial that stick out in a lot of folks head. Okay. Do you feel at any point that you unduly chastised the public defender Melissa McNeil? So there was a lot that was going on during that trial that I felt was extremely unprofessional and disrespectful disrespectful not only to the court but to the families. As a judge there's only certain tools that you have to, to address that type of disrespect and um, you know did I handle it perfectly? Perhaps not but, I, but I, I did what I thought needed to be done in order to maintain decorum and to keep, Once one keep that, shows sympathy, that trial decorum, moving decorum. in a way that was fair to all parties. Uh, Betty, I can't wait. I know you've got so much material here that yeah. it's going to be over three parts. Tell me, why do you think she sat down with you for, finally and broke her silence on this case? I think she was ready. I think she was ready to speak her truth. Um, time had gone by. Uh, she had resigned. She's now practicing civil law. And I think it was time for her to do some reflection and, and talk about her experience there. Um, and I, w what we do is we really go through some of the most controversial issues during that trial. And she speaks openly. She speaks candidly. But I will tell you, there is a lot of reflection in it. And you will see that in my interview. Do you think, how do, how do you think the experience of this trial has changed her in some ways? Well, I think she's changed in many ways, clearly. She's now practicing civil law, where she used to be a judge behind the bench. Um, um, and I also think, too, she has connected following the trial. The families have reached out to her, um, and she has formed some bonds with them. And I think she's just trying to figure out what's next. Yes, she is an attorney. She, she works in civil law, but there are so many other opportunities that are coming at her as well. So I think this is a time of trying to figure out, okay, this is where I am. Where do I go from here? I don't want to give away too much, but I know you also deal with the, that hug that, that was so controversial that we saw. Right. You know, just talk to me briefly just about, about that and what we're going to hear about that. Well, she she's very honest about, you know, how it played out. We learn exactly what happened, her thinking at the time. And then I also ask, you, ask her, you know, did you come to a moment during that where you thought, oh, no? there's going to be some repercussions from this. And so she answers it, and I think she tackles all of the issues very head on. You know, it's such a human experience to go through that. We think of judges as being lofty individuals devoid of emotion. But, but they're I think, human. But they're human. I think that's what we're going to see in the yes. interview, so I can't wait to see it. All right, Betty, yeah. again, I can't wait to see your exclusive reports. Now, part one airs tomorrow on CBS News Miami's Morning Edition in our 6.30 half hour. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Facing South Florida. We'll be back again next week. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day.